In other words, the ideology of the left has become narrow even while its membership in organisations has become wider. I, I couldn't disagree with you more. I'm so surprised. Uh, and I couldn't disagree with Anna. <laughs> uh, you know, Anna talked about the, 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 the millions of people in Britain who feel alienated uh, from the political process, who've lost confidence in, in politics, who feel left behind. Well, the truth is they have been left behind by governments of all colours, of all parties, that have pursued the same ideology. You know, that started with Thatcher. It was the, the, the ideology of Thatcher and Reagan, the ideology of Friedman and Hayek, uh, that we now call neoliberalism, that did all but destroyed our industry, that impoverished our people, that brought public services you know, to its knees, uh, you know, and, and has been a disaster. And there was a consensus. And pe when people said on the doorstep, I'm afraid, and I've heard it many times over the last 40 years, you're all the same, it was because there actually was a consensus about austerity. And nobody was allowed to debate it. We weren't allowed to debate it in the Labour Party. And when Jeremy Corbyn got onto the ballot paper in that leadership election into the Labour Party, for the first time in the Labour Party there was a proper debate about austerity. And within weeks, actually, Theresa May started parking her tanks on, on, on our lawn, though they didn't have, they didn't have much firepower. Uh, and so, you know, it seems to me that is what has happened. And, and, you know, actually Jeremy Corbyn's arrival has opened up political debate about the future. And austerity is not a necessity. It didn't even work on its own terms. Austerity is a choice, not a necessity. It's a... Uh, John, just... Before, be before we come to, to Michael Howard in, in two seconds, just to pick up Anna's very last point and throw it, throw it to you, does Jeremy Corbyn welcome a free and open debate about Brexit, which might include, for instance, change the result? Uh, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, let, I let think, John you know, look, we Mr. are John. having a debate about Brexit. And as Anna, is Jeremy as in Anna it? said, yes, he is. And as Anna said, it is a very, very divisive debate. And lots of people That's want so to exploit that division. And Jeremy Corbyn <coughs> wants to reunite the British people. Now, and I actually think, look, Brexit is an important debate. And I voted Remain, and I would prefer to see a Remain outcome. But actually, I don't think it is the most important issue facing the British, the, the, the Britain. I think the most important <laughs> issue facing Britain is the failure of our, con our economy. You know, we have now had people seeing their incomes fall for more than a decade. Most people, many hundreds, of, you know, millions of people in this country have seen their real incomes fall. You know, even middle class kids leave universities with the equivalent of a mortgage and they have no hope of buying a house or even renting one at an affordable rent. Uh, and so, you know, we, and we have the more, the most unequal society that we have had for decades. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.